Hello my little unicorns. Have you ever looked at celebrity makeup and wished that you had their makeup artists? Have you ever looked at them and said, I want to do that? Or maybe you looked at that and thought, I can do that. Now, have you ever looked at a celebrity and said to yourself, I can do that better? Well, today we're starting a new series. And the question is, can I do it better? We're going to take looks inspired by celebrities, celebrity fails, and we're going to see if we can create the same look better. So if you want to know if I can do it better, keep watching. All right, unicorn headband is on, so we're just going to zoom you in and get started. So. As you can see from the source picture, this look has a very bold eyebrow. Now in the picture, Lady Gaga is wearing a green wig with black roots. So she's got very black eyebrows. I'm going to be using my natural hair today, so I didn't want to go black. But I did want to make them bold. Um, personally, I don't think there's any excuse for the eyebrows she's wearing. I know she's a performance artist, not really a celebrity. Um, that's what she likes to say. She's an artist, not a celebrity. But, and that gives her certain licenses. But this is atrocious. So I did clean them up. I made them a little smaller, but they're still pretty big, pretty bold, and pretty in your face. All right, so remember that what I'm doing today is going to be an inspiration. It's going to be, can I take the look that she was doing and do it better? So it's not going to be identical. It's not supposed to be. But we're going to get started and I'm going to be using two palettes today. The first one I'm using is my James Charles palette, my Morphe James Charles palette. Let's see if I can get that on camera. Right there. And then I'm also using my ColourPop Fade Into Hue palette along with a couple other products. I like ColourPop. So I already have my eyes primed and my foundation on. So I'm gonna get started with the James Charles palette and I'm gonna start with a dark color. I'm starting with the black, which is something we don't usually do. But this is a cut crease look. Actually, I'm doing a kind of reverse one third cut crease. You'll see. So I'm gonna start with the black and I'm actually gonna cut my crease. I'm gonna lay down where I want the makeup to be. So I'm going in with a very tiny pencil brush into the color Spooky. This one right here, uh, right here. And I will do one eye for you and then the other off camera. All right, now I'm going to cut my crease up relatively high. So I am taking this up here and I'm just placing the color where I want it. I'm not worried if it's patchy. I'm not worried how light or dark it is. I'm just placing the color in the position and direction that I want it. So I'm creating like a little wing here. And now I'm gonna darken that. And I'm taking it all the way into the corner. Okay, and I'm going to keep doing this until it's as dark as I want. And then I'm going to take a large fluffy brush, a clean fluffy brush. This one right here and I'm just going to buff it out. I'm not worried if I get it on my lid. I'm gonna cut that crease, so I'm not too particular about the bottom part being neat and tidy. But I just wanna buff that out. And I want this very smoky, so this is going to take a lot of working. Okay, and then you remove the color, so then you have to go in with a little more color, and then you have to go in and blend again and go in with more color and blend again. So this process is a process. <laughs> you have to have patience. This look is not gonna be something you can whip out in five, 10 minutes. Okay, and after multiple passes, I finally have it where I want it. 
There we go. Now I'm going to cut my crease. And for that, I am using my e.l.f. 16 hour camo concealer in Fair Rose. It is my favorite. And a brush. And this is where that lid's going to get cleaned up. Now because I want this not to be a halo look, but I want that black on the inner corner, I'm not cutting my crease all the way into the inner corner. I'm going to start right about here. Right there. And now because this does start to dry down so quickly, it sometimes gets a little patchy. And the easiest way to take care of that is the heat from your finger. Don't rub, don't wipe, just press. Just use the heat from your finger and just press. What I love about it is, while it is a little difficult to work with because it dries down so quickly, it also doesn't crease very much. And it dries to kind of a powder finish, which also makes the shadows set. I don't have to set the shadows with a nude, like um, skin flesh tone powder to get blendability. The shadows um, blend very easily. I'm going into my Fade Into Hue palette and I'm going to use the color Dyed Up. This green right here. Actually, no. I want to use a frost, so I'm going to use Hote. This green right here. And I'm going to use a fluffy brush. I may end up putting some on my finger, but right now I just want to take that right up to the black and about halfway around my eye. And a little bit on the top here. Okay. And I'm wiping off all the excess product off of this brush because I'm going to use the same brush for the outside. And for that I am going into the color Pose. And I'm going to use that on the outside. So you see what I'm saying by it's reverse. Usually the dark is on the outside into the light. And we are doing it the opposite way. Just like that. Then I'm going to go back in with my brush that I used to apply Spooky, the black color from the James Charles palette. And I'm not actually putting any extra product on. I'm just leaving whatever's left on the brush. And I'm feathering those edges so it doesn't look so harsh. I don't want it to look like I have a sharp line. This little guy here, this angle brush, doesn't really matter. All I'm using it for is to add a little bit of um, a white gold highlighter under the brow bone. I can't remember the name of the shade. It's from the James Charles palette. Um, Spotlight. It's called Spotlight. And I'm just going to put it right here under the brow bone and probably a little bit under my inner corner. Right like that. I don't want to put it right in the inner corner, I want that black in there, but just underneath. All right. I'm going to do the other eye off camera, get us caught up, and then we'll work on eyeliner. Okay, so I went ahead and I did my left eye off camera. Eyeliner is done. Lashes are on. Mascara is on. Everything's finished. So we're going to go ahead and finish up the right eye so you see what you missed. Now, I am using this new stamp liner from Lottie London. 
and that didn't work out nearly as well as it worked out on the other side, but let's see if we can use that to draw it in. Pretty close. I want to maybe make this a little pointier. Right there. But that's pretty darn good. Okay. Next I'm going to curl my lashes, which is of course going to take off some of the eyeliner because I'm not waiting for it to dry. But I'll touch it up. Now while I wait for that to dry, I'm going to go ahead and put on my mascara. For that, I am using my Lorac Royal Treatment Primer and Mascara Duo. And I'm not too worried about the top lashes. Again, because I'm going to be wearing falsies. but I'm cutting my falsies off. I just want the outside. So I am gonna really focus on what little inner lashes I have. I don't have much. Okay, primer's on. Then I'm going to go in with the black mascara. And again, start with my bottom lashes. And I just realized that I didn't do the underside of my right eye. So let's go ahead and do that. I should have done that before the mascara. So I'm just going to take an angled brush and I'm dipping into the black spooky from the James Charles palette and I'm going to go right along the lash line which is now going to be a little more challenging but just to connect it to that liner. And I want to get as close to the lash line as possible because I'm going to put black on my waterline and yeah we're gonna come back to that I'm messing up my mascara and then I'm gonna take the same brush that I applied the green shades with and I'm going into the shade dyed up which is very similar to Hote um, but it's not frosted so it's very similar to this one but it's not frosted it's matte and I'm gonna use that to blend the black out underneath And then we're going to do the top, really concentrating on these inner lashes. Alright, I'm going in with my Kiss Lash, Lash Glue Liner. I'm just going to line half my lid because I have cut my lashes down. Now for lashes, I'm using my Ardell Demi Wispies Faux Minx. But as you can see, that top one here, I've cut it down. So that's the one that I'm using. We're not quite done yet. I'm going to go in with my Nabby black eyeliner and I'm going to eyeline, I'm going to line my waterline. For contour, I am using my Pro Fusion Highlight and Contour 1 palette. And I'm going to use a tan sculpt to carve my cheeks. I'm going to use my Zac blush, but I can't see the shade. It's just one of these loose packages that I have.
For highlighter, I am using my Kat Von D Alchemist palette, and I'm going to use the shade Green Emerald. It's a green highlighter. It reflects green and gold. I figure Lady Gaga is kind of over the top, so why not use a little green in my highlight? And for lips, I'm going to use my Revlon Colorstay Ultimate Liquid Lipstick in the shade Top Tomato. Nice bright red that stays for a long time. Okay, so I'm just going to fix my hair real quick and we'll be right back. And here it is, the finished look. So let's take a look at it side by side. What do you think? Do you think that I actually achieved it? Do you think that I, I did better than Lady Gaga? So you tell me, what do you think? Anyway, stay tuned, stay magical, and I will talk to you next time. I love you, my little unicorns. Bye.